in fact, even I still have trouble with it. So what we're going to do now is switch over to the station and make sure they have SAS on. It's good that they have SAS on, because um, that'll keep them from spinning and rotating while you're trying to dock with them. And I think what we're going to do is try to um, dock with one of these side ports here, because I do not have the patience to probably not safe to try and um, dock with these ports here. Uh, and these are extended out for a reason anyway. So now what we're going to do is, I should have put lights on this thing. Control from here, control from your docking port, and make sure you open the shield if it has a shield. Then what you're going to want to do is maybe Wait, let's turn it so that I guess um, relative to the ground, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing, just feel free to turn docking ports wherever you need to. Control from here. I haven't made this any easier at all, but set the target port as your target. And the reason you want to do that is because although it's not exactly accurate um, as far as the tag goes but the reason for that is because the target indicator will now point you towards that docking port so now what we're going to want to do uh, in order to make this easier let's level ourselves out at 90 and just use RCS however we need to um, to get into position to go after that docking speed this up, maybe not. Okay, now we're sufficiently off to the side. Or we soon will be. Let's kill off that horizontal velocity. Get ourselves going up a little. thing turning? Does it have... I'm starting to wonder if this thing has... I'm really starting to wonder if the station actually has its SIS on. Hang on. I'm not sure if it's just me that's moving or if it's actually turning. H. Let's get a little bit closer. And now, you know what I think we're going to do? Um, actually, never mind. I was going to say, I was going to try and get the station to be on a perfect 90 degree, um, to be on a perfect 90 degree inclination. However, I don't think that'll work because I don't think those, um, exterior, uh, docking ports actually have um, I don't think those exterior docking ports actually are perfectly lined up with the rest of the craft so I mean the rest of the space station so what we're going to try and do is just at this point it's probably at a point where we can are you the target? okay that is the target so we'll start to turn towards it. Let's disable that RCS. Oh, 
probably should have brought lights. But it can be done. And you're always going to want to try and keep yourself pointed towards it. And now we'll just adjust however we need to. And you should try and keep yourself totally lined up with the horizon. Um, if only because it'll make it easier to figure out where you really are. And you should also keep yourself pointed, as I said, at your target. Now, let's kill some of that horizontal speed and start to move in on that docking port. This may not be entirely easy. Uh, and you also want to definitely make sure you hit very slowly. Right now we're heading towards it at 0 0.2 meters per second. And we may even need to be going slower than that. I cannot stress this enough. Uh, pay attention to where um, your target indicator is because as you get closer it will change relative to you. And try and keep your prograde marker directly on it. We're almost there. Do a man. Sorry if I'm talking. I don't know if I'm talking too low or not. I don't know how I sound on this mic. Let's, let's not screw this up for the last second. Slow down a little bit. We're coming in. This will be my most successful docking ever if we get this right away. Come on. Magnetism do its thing. The docking ports are magnetic. And there we go. That's a successful docking and rendezvous. So now to end this video off, let's just uh, see what this looks like over on the light side of the planet. Okay, one more thing I guess I should say. Or two more things. A, put lights in front of your docking port. That way you can see what you're moving towards. Second, if your space station starts to wobble like this, time warp forward, that'll put it on rails and then bring it back. It won't always stop the wobble. Docking ports are very weak, but um, it'll at least cancel it out temporarily. So um, if it starts to get too bad, you can do this. And make sure you keep your stations balanced so they don't get too bad weight-wise. Alright, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned.